Hole in 66 along with Steve Tabor out of Carthage in the number two. Row number two, it's Joe Tricillo in the 32 along with last week's winner, the 17 of Owen White, or Owen Nyer, I should say. Row number three, third and final row, Cole Perry in the 23 in the 12S. That is Dakota Sharp, Dakota Sharp aboard the number 12S. Coming to green this time by six laps will be the issue. Mike LeClaire, our director of traffic control atop the flag stand here at the KM Speedway, will look him over in turn number four. Once again, all starts and restarts will be at that white cone coming off the turn. Fab Dirt Car Pro Stocks will be up for their feature right after the second and final heat in the Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman right now. Heat number one, on track and ready for green off of number four. Green lights are on and away we go. Steve Taylor picks up the lead. Owen Nyer not messing around. He's going to the top lane and going to the lead off of turn number two. It's Owen Nyer to the top spot. Cole Perry trying to fight from the back of the field as well. He's up to third and looking for another spot as they work in lap number one off of turn four and across the lane. Owen Nyer. Two-time winner of the season. The winner of the season last week holds the lead. Steve Tabor and Cole Perry dicing it up now for second and third. Tabor holds the two spot. Perry back there in the three spot. And Perry to the inside link. Cole Perry now to, to the uh, number two spot. Tabor relegated to third. The fourth here is Ray Hudo tries to find the uh, bottom and does just that. Joe Trillo watches from fifth off of turn number four and back down to the line. Two laps are complete. Owen Nyer. Carthage, New York native. Two wins this season. He picked up the season opener on May the 6th, and he also won last week. And he beat Keegan Nyer to do it. Right now, it's going to be Cole Perry, who has a win here. Owen got his first win. Got his first win on May 13th. It's in second right now. Down across the line. Three down, three more to go. For Ray Hudo out there in car number 66, as he has the three spot. Hudo right there. In front of Trichilla. That's the battle for third that you're watching on Dirt Track Digest. In the meantime, Owen and I are enjoying a healthy advantage. Perry doing all he can to run him down right now. His car is just that much faster down the straightaway into turn number one and two. Two laps left to go. First of two heats of the Nonnets Motorworks Limited. Sportsman on track as Owen Nyer, Cole Perry, and Ray Hudo, the top three, followed by Joe Trichillo and Steve Tabor in that field. Now around the beat lane, Owen not seeing anything behind him. He's got a clear racetrack and the white flag for Mike LeClaire. Final time through turns one and two. Carthage, New York native, sets it up on the bottom side of the speedway as Owen Nyer. Looking pretty strong down the back straightaway. Could it be three wins on the season? We'll find out later in the feature event, which will be 12 laps in distance. Right now, he'll take the win, and he raised one for the Donath Motorworks Limited Sportsman. Owen Nyer gets the victory. Second spot and will go to Cole Perry, Ray Hudo, Joe Trichillo, and Steve Tabor in that order. That does it. First heat in the Donath Motorworks Limited Sportsman is now complete. Heat race number two is ready to go. That's all she wrote. One more. Huh? One more heat race. Heat race number two. Final heat race of the day here for the evening. Can't am Speedway once again. Miss Anna Rondek, Miss Thousand Island Scholarship Organization down there. They got 50-50 tickets. If you need some, get a hold of them right now. Once again, more the play, the bigger it pays. It all only costs the dollar. Give them a holler. They'll set you up with as many as you can handle. As heat race number two rolls track side, it's going to be Alan McDonald from Watertown, the third York in the 1D and the 34 of Keegan Nyer, last week's runner-up from Carthage. Josh Hudo in the number 8 from Harrisville is scheduled to complete this field, and there's Josh there right now. <laughs> Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stock feature will be up immediately following this final heat in the Donuts Motorworks Limited Sportsman. So we'll get them lined up as quick as possible. We'll give them a couple of minutes to get to the staging area. But in the meantime, six laps is the issue. 
Second and final heat in Donneth Motorworks Limited Sportsman off a of turn number four. Green lights are on and away we go. Keegan Nyer trying to keep the Nyer family dominance in this division going as he hustles down the back straightaway. He's got the lead over the 73 of Wilcox. Paul DeRuiter, who's had a couple of good runs to start the season, picked up a couple of feature wins in this division last year. Josh Hudo on that top side in the number eight, looking really good, holding on to fourth as they swing it off the turn and down the front straightaway at lap number one. Keegan Nyer with the race lead. Josh or Joey Wilcox there back in second. Paul DeRutter, the Buzz Chew Chevrolet 1D ride. Down to the bottom, is gonna pick up the two spot as Josh Hudo watches from spot number four into turn number three and four. Wilcox trying to find the way back by Paul DeRutter as they click off lap number two this time by. It is still Keegan Nyer with that advantage over the one of DeRutter. Down the back straight away they go, Keegan Nyer He's got a feature win this year as well. Back on May the 20th, Paul DeRutter has been shut out of victory lane a couple of times this year. Wants to change that tonight, though, as they work it up off at turn number four and across the line. Halfway home, three down, three to go, says Mike LeClaire. Keegan Nyer, Paul DeRutter, your top two. Joey Wilcox battling with Josh Hudo into turn number one and two. Alan McDonald completes the field in fifth at the moment as they hit the back straightaway. I tell you what, Paul DeRoder is using that extreme inside lane, maybe even a little bit of a portion of the infield to try to find some bite to catch Keegan Nyer as Keegan has been really quick at the moment. Up off of turn number four, deck back down to the line with two laps left to go. Top two have driven away from everybody else. Joey Wilcox and the number eight of Josh Hudo trying to Battle for position number three as they work the back straightaway this time. In the meantime, though, Keegan Nyer having a battle here with Paul DeRutter. DeRutter closing the gap quickly up off of turn number four. Back to the line. White flag is in the air. Final trip around. Can Keegan Nyer hold on? That's the question. Here comes Paul DeRutter right there to the back bumper. DeRutter is going to change his line just a little bit to try to catch Keegan Nyer down the back straightaway. Into turn number three and four. Nyer enjoys a couple of car length advantage over Paul DeRutter. Into turn number three and four. Checkered flag is out. Checkered flag is waving. And the win will go to Keegan Nyer. Paul DeRutter will come home a very close second. Third still up for grabs here is going to be Josh Hudo picking up the number three spot over Wilcox. And Alan McDonald will complete the rest of your field.